It was a long way from my apartment to my parents' house. A long drive had to do. I got in the car thinking it would be a long day. In midway, I felt hungry and I realized that I did not carry any refreshments. I parked my car in my eye shot, got out and bought supplies. I started driving but I noticed another car tailing my car. I remember that I had seen that car parked in the shop from where I bought the refreshments. It was following me in high speed. I thought it wanted to overtake me, so I gave the car a sight. But it was still following me. I was scared to stop because it was an empty street with dense forest in both sides. But anyhow, I did stop my car. I carried a hammer which I kept in my car for my self-defense. As I stopped, the tailing car also stopped. A tall man with heavy build got out with a gun and an angry face. My heart was in my mouth. I frantically started panting. So scared, I couldn't move. He ran towards me. My heart was already beating fast, but what happened next almost gave me a heart attack. Back of my car opened. There emerged a frightening man in hood who looked at me. God, he was so terrifying. And he also carried a knife with him. The man from the tailing car screamed at me, run! and fire shots at the hooded man who sprinted towards the forest till he couldn't be seen. Ma'am, voice echoed through my ears. Are you okay? He asked me. Thank you, I whispered. I am a detective, ma'am, but you have been lucky. A killer was on loose and has butchered three teenage girls in this area. So I was patrolling this area. As you were shopping, I saw a man enter back of your car who carried a knife. Knife confirmed my suspicion and I started following you. Oh God, I whispered to myself. Ma'am, take care from next time, he added. The killer was waiting for a decent opportunity to commit the next murder.